have no news, so let's get to the entertainment section of tonight's news. Welcome to Thursday Live in Nashville. We are at Artisan Guitars. Uh, it's becoming a regular thing and we're digging it. We hope you are too. Thank you for tuning in and watching. This week, we have our friend John Dennis. John, welcome. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you. having me. Thank you for coming and making time in your busy, busy schedule. Yeah. Not so busy schedule. No? What's, what's going on? What's a typical John Dennis day like during uh, the current situation? Uh, during the current situation, a lot of Netflix. Okay. Uh, I like to get outside, take a walk. Um, and then when I can find time to be creative, uh, I try and get some writing done. But, Good for you. You know, it's, uh, I think sometimes we as creatives and all this, I think we're a little hard on ourselves because we feel like, oh, this is the time that I should write a new record, I should get this done, and then when you don't, you know, it feels like time wasted, and I don't think we should feel that way. No, you're not, yeah, don't set up uh, unreasonable expectations for yourself, but yeah. don't just sit around in your sweats and watch Netflix either. There's... But if you do, it's okay. It's okay. You know, maybe write a song about sweats and Netflix, you know, it's, the world could use it. It would be great. And for your first song, it's going to be sweats and Netflix? Yeah, yeah, actually all four songs are sweats and Netflix songs. <laughs> Parts but, uh, one through four. So hopefully you can relate out there. Yeah, yeah. that's, yeah, please, get us, start us off, play something, uh, whatever you like. Yeah, uh, first tune I'm going to play is uh, actually the first tune on my most recent record, Mortal Flames, uh, which is a concept record that follows sort of uh, a character's lifespan chronologically. Uh, and sort of the search for meaning and in the face of mortality and existentialism. Um, and it sort of compares our lives to candles burning down. So uh, for the first tune on the record, I needed kind of my vision of it all coming to be. And um, if I didn't do that, if I don't play it first, then it feels like I'm backtracking in a big way if I play it second or third. So again, Sweats and Netflix, this is for you, First Light. Faceless dark, nameless night, silence broke by whisper. Sacred sparks of formless fire, darkness woke by kindred first light. Father, Son, with moon is bright, join the choir of creation, stars and sky. The earth is young, but she hums in time, harmonize the vibrations. And hand in hand, the land began to dance upon the grandeur of the deep. The laughing master's plan was gently written in the canyons and the seas. The universe a dandelion dream alive. It first light. And in the glow, seedlings rose, each an endless beginning. And steeped in clay, every beast took shape, see the sheen of becoming radiate. But still the scene was incomplete, heaven needed a witness to recreate and illuminate the perfect flame, the precious flame. So he gathered in his hand some of the dust from which he fashioned everything. Scattered through the land, these living candles that he called humanity. He 
each given a freedom and a time to make up their own meaning for this life when really they were merely born to see and to shine first light With each page, countless flames reach the day of the fading. But they're reprised in closed infant eyes, parents patiently waiting. Yes. That was awesome. Thank you. That felt really good. Thank you. Great tempo, great pace on that tune. Yeah, I thought the train was a nice touch. I, I, well, we, we could have, he was supposed to blow the horn in the softer moments, not right when you were singing. Hey. He got confused. Yeah, We put the wrong signal on the side of the track. It said, anytime. Hey, it worked. Yeah, no, that sounded really good. That must be the six o'clock <laughs> Nashville, or they're just fans. Yeah. They haven't sent a message it's on Facebook be yet. Uh, <laughs> Betty says, great to watch you play with a big heart. Thank you, Betty. Thank you, Betty. And uh, yeah, so we are, we are all of us watching on our, our devices, yet we're in the same room as each other and we're six feet or more apart. This is the new norm, I guess, do you think? Yeah. Is this gonna be concerts for the, for the foreseeable future? What, what's this, how do you feel about that? I guess so, I'm, you know, I think I feel on the same page as everybody else. I'm not the health expert in it and I'm trying to be teachable and informed and where I can respect and uh, preserve someone else's life and safety, I need to do that. And yeah. if that means standing six feet apart, if that means wearing sweats and watching Netflix uh, to keep going back, then so be it. Um, but I do look forward to when we can safely get together and play some more. But until then, uh, we have artists and guitars and their showroom and their songwriting series to uh, uh, hold us over. So I'm grateful to be a part of this. Yeah, this is lovely to have you uh, sing for people when maybe music is something they need. Uh, coming through their screens and their speakers and I think music is always something we need yeah. so whether it whether it's my music I don't know but uh, for today it is so well you, we, we gave you the platform and you're t running with it so please yeah. continue uh, what did you have on the on the schedule for the year or what do you have on the maybe schedule for the, the future um, so I had some shows just like everybody else uh, the big losses are I was supposed to be in England in September uh, I was supposed to be in the Netherlands next February. Um, and it does seem like uh, those are going to get postponed uh, with international travel restrictions and stuff. But um, so, yeah, I mean, the loss of the shows and, and the loss of that outlet is going to be difficult for a lot of us. But uh, again, going back to the previous answer, you know, I'm hopeful to use this time to get some writing done and uh, get rolling on record number four with Brian Clark and Rainfeather Records and see where that takes us. and. When uh, the sun peeks through, I'll be ready for you. But it is what it is until then. That's, yeah, understood. Um, maybe take us back to the previous record or one of the previous records with a tune, if you don't mind. Something, something uh, in your back catalog that you want to play for everybody. Yeah, um, okay. I'm planning on kind of going back and forth between the new record and the record prior to it, uh, which was a record called Second Wind. Um, and this is a tune off of that one. Uh, it's an old friend of mine called Resurrection Mary, and uh, it's inspired by a ghost story out of Chicago, and it's also inspired by uh, the tendency and the trap some of us fall into where we just kind of get in that cycle of replaying the past and going back to the sources of our trauma and our grief and really defining ourselves by it. Um, so it's a ghost story sort of uh, set against the very real phenomena of living in the past and in so doing becoming a bit of a ghost ourselves and uh, seeing those ghosts play out before us. So this is a song called Resurrection Mary.
Dead of summer, dead of night Highway lit by restlessness and desperate headlights About seven miles south of town I passed a lily white girl with a panicked face and a party gown She flagged me down As I pulled aside she floated in And with a see-through smile said drive away the hell you've been And she whispered can you take me home It's just a little ways up I've had enough of this dead end road heavy bones I must admit I wondered why but I just introduced myself perhaps to ease to worried minds but an unexpected answer came she just stared ahead, said, John, that was my husband's name. And then she sang. They say there's no such thing as ghosts. I swear sometimes they're all I see. Ghosts that I'm running from. Ghosts I can't overcome Those that are everything I'll ever be Resurrection Mary and Suddenly I saw her scar in her tortured eyes and painted on her porcelain forearms I couldn't help but stop the car And Mary pointed past me saying Driver, here we are And as I turned my eyes to see Resurrection Cemetery Calling through the darkness to his favorite wayward soul I didn't hear that car door slam I didn't hear no angel band But I didn't have to turn again To know I was alone Who says there's no such thing as ghosts I swear sometimes they're all I see Ghosts who can't break away Ghosts trying to escape forever Left to venture back in haunted reverie Resurrection Mary Resurrection Mary Like Resurrection Mary Resurrection Mary There you go. <laughs> Love that. Thank you. That was great. Thank you. That's uh, that the, the ghost idea is really fun to ponder, you think. Yeah. Well, that opens up a whole new world of things I could write about. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Well, and most of the writing's already been done for me since it's just kind of a retelling of that story. But yeah, but remember, don't let the truth get in the way of a good song. You can, yeah, you can make yeah. up whatever you want. Yeah, and it's kind of cool, you know, to take those sort of stories and sort of find myself within them because it, it really does speak to uh, a period in my life and the tendency that I find in myself. And if I can throw some ghosts in, then all the better. Hey, invite yeah. ghosts. Yeah, absolutely. Worked in the Goonies. It was a great movie. <laughs> 
Um, I know you can't see any of this, but this is coming through on my feed, which is awesome to have folks commenting and watching. We love that folks are watching and they're able to comment. Uh, Mama Ray Ray says she loves you and she sends hugs. Uh, Kurt uh, in Maine says he's watching this show and I think he's rubbing this in on us because he says, I'm enjoying this on my porch looking out over the lake. Oh boy. That's uh, probably a pretty nice view. Uh, Janet said she was a little late, but she's watching from Fort Payne. Uh, Jocelyn says you sound phenomenal. And Louis or Louis says, nice, bro. Thank you. Simple. Yeah, so Thanks people everybody. are enjoying this as much as we are. We're so glad that, because we we're spoiled. We get to be here in the room and listen to you, but it's great that everybody gets to, to check it out at home. Yeah. Um, you've been playing guitar for a long time. You were mentioning to me earlier before we went on the air that you were a Belmont guitar student. Are you a total guitar nerd? Uh, I feel like I've always been uh, more of the storyteller type of guitar player. Okay. Um, I, I am obviously passionate about the guitar. I spent four years at Belmont paying a lot of money doing it. But, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of sort of the Mark Knopflers of the world and those people who can really tell a story in their playing. I've never been a really fast player because I have a hand tremor. Okay. Um, so the music of Knopfler specifically and, and the David Rawlings and the people who can be really tasteful and really tell a story with how they're playing even when they're not singing is just something I'm really passionate about and envious of of course but well yeah but that gives us all something to work towards doesn't yeah, it absolutely anybody that you would if you could tour would it be Dave Rawlings or somebody if you were added to a bill with someone who would be your ideal hmm I mean, obviously, Dave Rawlings and, and Gillian are amazing. Uh, Mark Knopfler would be, like, the number one for yeah. me. He's just seems like an incredible human being and is obviously just as incredible a player and a songwriter. And um, I would also say Paul Simon is my number one of all time songwriter. And I'd get blown out of the water, but he uh, to be on that bill would just be kind of, like, untouchable. You know, he's a master class in my opinion. And in, in the world of what, what I'm watching you do right now, the singer-songwriter thing, there are a few people that have obviously achieved that level of success the way Paul did. And, and it's, you know, again, something to work towards. You go, okay, I'm still young, I got time to work, and I can do that when I'm, because Paul's, what, 70-something now, so. And he's still killing it. Yeah. And he retired, so there's room for new yeah. people on the block. Yeah, he's, uh, he's one of those guys that I've always really uh, respected artistically and creatively, because I just think, you know, he's one of those guys that, he could have retired years ago and he would have legend status and yet he still puts out records and every time he's trying to challenge something, he's trying to push a boundary and, you know, what more could somebody strive for than even a piece of what Paul Simon has achieved. Very, very and, well And, and others, but Paul Simon for me. Yeah. No, absolutely. No, we love, love hearing about, because especially if we get to listen to your music and, and it, that's a tendency for all of us to go, I wonder who his influences were, I wonder what he's drawing on and obviously... You know, it's it's if you're picking from the best of the best. Yeah, and there's countless. You know, there's so many, and I think everything you listen to is going to show up somewhere in what you're doing. But you know, it, it does seem like Knopfler and Paul Simon are the two that I'm always going back to. Seems like every time I put out a record with Brian, it it's just well, this was the Paul Simon record I was listening to. Like this one, it was uh, Rhythm of the Saints was huge for me on on Mortal Flames and uh, so beautiful, so what and you know, just time to listen to some more Paul Simon and see where that shows up on the next one. But, Very good. Yeah. Are we going to hear something from uh, the, the most recent record next? Where you, what, what would you like to play for us next? Yeah, uh, this next one is, um, is off the most recent record. Uh, it's track six, I believe. And, uh, you know, like I said, the record sort of chronologically follows a life and sort of a search for meaning. And, um, you know, it... it inevitably sort of tells my own story and so you know what I found myself what what happened in my life that's sort of relevant is when I moved to Nashville about 10 years ago uh, my longtime girlfriend back home was killed in a car accident uh, within my first semester here which you know without getting super into it pretty well derailed my life and turned into alcoholism which I'm grateful to be five years sober of um, but you know it just all of my hope and my expectations were sort of in that. It was my first real romance, and um, you know, it's taken me many years to come to terms with it and to reconcile it. Um, but this tune uh, appears in the story as new love, new light, and it's uh, a song called Another Door, and it's sort of based on the old adage that is when one door closes, another opens. And I sort of thought, 
you know, they don't tell you what's behind that next door. It could just be more doors. You could just be going through doors after doors after doors, but you get to choose whether or not you're going to go through it. And so this is a song I wrote uh, about going and playing at the Cafe Coco open mic here every week, and uh, there was a, a girl that struck my eye, and I think struck everybody's eye, whose name was Al, Alana, um, and I wrote this song to try and get her to start talking to me because I was very interested. Um, and we've been dating for three years now, uh, very happy, very, very healthy, and um, this was the song that I guess worked, you know, and it's about giving life and love another shot, especially when it, you stop expecting it to look a certain way. So this is a song for Al. Well, maybe it's the dinner Oh, maybe it's the light Oh, maybe lonely hearts say crazy things on Thursday nights And it's a quarter past eleven Oh, but no one's keeping time And maybe, oh, just maybe, baby, this feeling is a sign You say I'd make a sorry astronaut I say you might be right Cause I smoke them hipster cigarettes And I don't do well with heights And I don't do well with healing And this young heart felt I had to try but there's something about coffee shops and friendly hazel eyes When Jamie sings a line or two of a song that we both know And I won't presume to speak for you But when he says welcome home it's almost like he means it, like our dreams led right to this. And I don't pretend to know you well, but I often wish I did. And oh, oh fate has never been. But on and on it goes We just take another door Another door Another door You may laugh and say you're ugly But I'd paint you in the stars And it seems like the most beautiful Seldom think they are You like me cause I'm quiet But I've got so much to say It's just that fear comes to the forefront, babe when Freedom looks my way Oh, and if I find the courage To catch you for you leave There'd be no need to be nervous You don't know me anything I ain't asking you for nothing this don't have to be our song But if you like the way I sing it Honey, why not sing along? No, oh, oh, fate has never been for sure But 
on and on it goes We just take another door No, oh, 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 we don't have to be for sure. Of when and where it goes, we just take another door, another door, another door. Another door. It worked. <laughs> yeah, it worked. It worked. Congrats on <laughs> that one. Out. Thank you. Yeah, no, that's a good tune. Really good tune. Thank you. You mentioned Cafe Coco. That place is probably still open 24 hours a day. It's uh, not. They it not? Uh, recently just closed the doors and turned it into just another uh, Coco Italian cafe to go. Wow. Yeah. Those were the days. That place was always around, always open. That was excellent. Um, we've got a couple more comments and then I'm going to shut up and let you sing one more song for us because I'd much rather listen to you than listen to me. <laughs> uh, Ryan says, this is amazing and there's absolutely nothing I'd rather be doing and nowhere I'd rather be in this moment. So that's a powerful comment. Thank you for that, Ryan. Thanks for watching. Jocelyn's loving it and uh, everyone else is loving it. Heidi says, John Dennis, yes, <laughs> with a number of S's. Yes. You know I'm watching and listening, she says. Well, we couldn't be happier to have you here with us. Thank you for making time to come and do it and hang out with us and, and uh, just share what you do with not only us, but everybody watching at home. So have you got one more that you can play for us, please? I do, yeah. And thank you so much again to Artisan Guitars. Uh, they have this beautiful new facility here on 4th and Chestnut. And uh, you know, it is just, it's wonderful. I, I came to the old location uh, in Franklin uh, but this is my first time here and I encourage everyone who's watching to follow their page uh, come check it out because they know the guitar they love the guitar and they obviously support guitarists and songwriters and uh, it's an honor to be here so uh, thank you all so much I hope you'll check them out um, you know my stuff's available if you're looking for it um, but other than that uh, enjoy your Netflix and sweats and uh, I'm right there with you and I look forward to being able to see you um, until then, this tune's a song called Till the Morning. Uh, it appeared on my second record. Uh, it's a song that was sort of my attempt at a lullaby and sort of for those moments when hope feels like the enemy uh, to keep on keeping on and uh, to know that you're not alone in it. And I think uh, it's a song that's really spoken to me uh, throughout my life, even though I wrote it. Um, and uh, I hope it speaks to you in all this craziness. If you need it, it's for you. Thank you so much to Artists and Guitars. Close your eyes, it's okay to forget just a little It's never been easy Don't take it so hard At times it'll feel Like a meaningless riddle Oh, but maybe someday Get ahead of your heart Oh, I hear what you say it can never get better And it seems like your weeping Just deepens the rain But I've been there before And we're in this together And just maybe someday We can laugh at the pain oh, Close your eyes little darling hope is nothing to fear close your eyes go to sleep till the morning my love will be waiting right here
It's hard to believe there is someone beside you When this darkness inside you feels like all you can hold Even when you can't see love I sing to remind you That sometimes salvation means just letting go so close your eyes, little darling Hope is nothing to fear Close your eyes, go to sleep Till the morning, my love will be waiting right here Close your eyes, it's all right Love, it's high time to heal Every storm has to yield Every night has to end And you'll feel that pure morning A breaking above you And you'll wake up to some Better sun shining in so close your eyes, little darling Hope is nothing to fear Close your eyes, go to sleep Till the morning, my love will be waiting right here My love will be waiting right here John Dennis. Thank you so much. Live from Nashville. Thank you, John. Sports Thanks so much for, for rocking for us. We appreciate it. Play us out on that Thank team. You. Just finger pick me home, my friend. Yeah, maybe I'll get the words right this time. Uh, hey, man, <laughs> it's your song. It's my song. It makes me human. There you go. Close your eyes. It's OK Thanks to forget watching. just a little. It's never been 